Young man, come here. Come sit here. Yeah, you lady remain there. You're the small sister. Sit here. So, uh, let's hear it from the coach and friend Robert Burale. Mambo bro? Salama sana. Buana sifiwe? Amen, amen. Karibu. It's good to be here. Hakuna ata siku neza kupata off guard ni upata umiparara kidogo? Leo ndi off guard. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, this is your off guard. Yeah. Mimi in Leo ni Sunday best. Naona Leo ni kwa hapa kidogo. Unajaribu? I'm learning. You you're know doing, my teacher, Sidio? Of course. You know who I'm stealing style from? You're doing very well. And that person is in the periphery. <laughs> we don't want to mention names. <laughs> On point, kama suti za burale. Hallelujah. You inspire me a lot. I've always told you. Yes, sir. On air and off air. Yes, sir. I've gotten my style, my fashion, my confidence from you and other gentlemen. Thank you. Karibu. Asante. I saw the story of this, uh, the two siblings. I was intrigued. I was like, okay, let me call them. We have a conversation. Right. But I was like, I don't want to have a conversation with them, so it just looks like I'm bashing them. Let me also bring a professional and also a man of God and a friend and a coach to guide us through. You are seated right here. You've had the conversation. Right. Please, the floor is yours. Mimi, see Nara Maswali. Number one, we need to be sure it is a true story. Okay. It sounds very far-fetched. Okay. But we live in a world that these things are happening. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So I need to be sure that they share the same father. Okay. But crazier things have happened. Okay. If it's true, I don't agree with it. Okay. Um, and 21 and 19... Yeah. It's too young. Uh, they're at an age where... They're very good people. I can tell they just, they just need guidance. Yeah, yeah. But they are at an age where they don't know what they want. A girl matures from 24. The front part of the brain, which is the place for judgment, from 24. She's 19. At 21, the boy is trying to figure himself out. And I, I don't want him to come on air. And I know he's hurting. And that's also another angle of parents. But at 21, you shouldn't come on air to bash your father. Okay. Right? Why am I saying that? If you're mature enough to unzip your trouser to have sex, then that means you're calling yourself to a higher standard of reasoning. I don't know what the father did. Evidently, he says he's an absent father. Yeah. But... Children should understand, before they make any judgments, they should know what really happened between the father and the mother. Sure. Yes, there's some men who just abscond, don't take responsibility, but there are men who are bad-mouthed by their exes. Yeah. So you point the man to be a wicked man, and maybe the man had tried. But let's go to this place where this is true. I want them to decide that this is the last interview they'll ever do. Okay. They don't need publicity now. They need help. They need counseling. They need prayer. And a few slaps. <laughs> because they are good ready. people. Yeah. I can tell they are very good human beings. Yeah. And sometimes if you don't discipline them a little bit, then another 10 years, because I, let me tell you the truth, they will not get married. This is just an excitement that will end. It will end as soon as, just the way the Arsenal title hopes ended. It's that quick. We are boy Nifanu Asenali. That's another problem. We simply get twice. One minute. Let me adjust this one right here. Am I too dark? No, 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 no. no. Oh. It's Apo uh, Sawa. Right. Apo Sawa. So, I do believe they don't need publicity. They need to be in the four walls of an office, being cancelled. They need to go back to where things went wrong. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, the gentleman needs to go and have a conversation with God and his father. There has to be reconciliation because there is a lot of pain in this young boy. Yeah, I've, All I've right? noticed There's a lot the of pain. I've seen, That's yeah, the honest truth. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and they also need to have a conversation with their mothers because there's a problem if their mothers are aware that they are dating and, and they're they just saying okay do with you. It. Yeah. So that also takes me back to what I call the new age kind of parenthood. When a child gets to 16, you are never supposed to be friends with your child. And that's where parents go wrong. At 16, you're not supposed to be friends. 
if a child from the age of 16 calls you, oh, my friend, my friend, you as a parent must check yourself out. There are seasons of parenthood. To be a commander-in-chief of the armed forces, to be a counselor, to be a friend, you know, to be strict. At 16, there's too many things happening in this generation. So that's not the time to say, this is my friend, this is my friend. So I have a problem that the father absconded, would want to know why, but he needs to quickly get back to his son and have a conversation with the son because there is no healing. There's no and closure. What they are, no, no, no. And what they are going through yeah. is not love. Oh, wow. Is not love. What they are doing, they are using each other as a painkiller. And at some point, the headache will stop. And if they're not careful, they'll now resent each other. Then they bring problems in the larger family. And they will already be a, like a child involved now. Yeah, so at 20, I pray that there will be no child. And I'm glad they're child, here. No, yeah. Young man, zip your trouser. Do not have sex with your sister. And even if she wasn't your sister, you are too young to have sex. 19, young girl, you have not matured. This is the time to watch things like Cartoon Network. Young man, this is the time to be crying about Arsenal misbehaving. Not you going in a bedroom and removing your trouser. I'm speaking as a big brother. I have a child your age. You understand? Actually, I'm speaking as a father. So I'm telling you in love. And telling somebody something in love does not mean you tell them what they want to hear. You may not like what I'm saying. But five years from today, you may say, thank God that lawyer man spoke to us. And then you come here and say to follow us. Is it a business? Are you looking for followership in this crazy situation? That follow us on filthy.com, whatever filthy it is. That should not be the case. And I want you to know, if I were you, bring down that so-called account. Filthy.something. Secondly, this is not a badge of honor. That you go on air to say the way you're in love with your sister. You should be crying, asking for help. I would want to know, because patterns never lie. I would want to know father, grandfather, great-grandfather. And I can bet my bottom dollar. If this story is true, there is something that they are fighting that is beyond them. That is why I cannot entirely blame them. But then again, please, do not come on national platform. This is a huge platform. And bash your parents. Give honor to your father and your mother, and it shall be well with you, with you, and you shall have a long life. You understand what I'm saying? So for me, to you 19-year-old girl, please, young girl, you still have a future. This is the time, uh, try to experiment with which lipstick you like, which hairstyle you like. Not now saying that I'm making a home. But I would also want, privately, to talk to your parents. Because I have a problem with that. Yeah. But before we just bash these young people, there is, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to call it as it is. Okay. There is some nonsense that is called new age kind of parenthood. Watch, I'm totally fine when you're an attacker. You know, I'm support. And, and even sometimes mothers dress more skimply than their daughters, wanting to belong. Yeah. We need to go back to where the village raised the children. If I met your daughter misbehaving, I will not call you for permission. Nyorosha, eh? I will nyorosha, bring her to your house, and nyorosha in my presence to almost support the discipline I've meted upon her. But now you do that, you know, why are you doing this to my child? And that is why, if you're not careful, in another 10 years, we will have more rehab centers than libraries based on where the life is going. And I don't want these two young people. There are two things here, Obina. This story could be 100% true. Yeah. They need counseling and help. It could be a hundred percent lie. They also need help. Counseling and help. Because too. it means they sat and said, let's dupe the Kenyans. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So whatever the case, they need help. And whoever is lying to you on social media that you are their role models, those guys are as empty as the Arsenal Trophy Cabinet. They are empty. They are lying to you. They are taking you to your death. And they will laugh at you when things hit the fan. And I want by the time I'm living here, we shall go there. I will lay hands on both of you. I don't, I'm not sure if it's prayer or another way. But discipline must come. Because they are good people. 
This young man here, what's his name? Kyle. Kyle is in pain because of his father. Yeah. His father is alive. We need to get him with his father. They need to release all their anger and pain, reconcile, hug each other, and that's the day his life will start. And also for the father, that is the day he will have peace. The father does not have peace. This young man does not have peace. The young girl has, co has been caught in between the messes of a father and a son. That's true. She is That's on the crosshairs. She is right. The bullet is, yes, the bullet is on her. Yeah. So the number one, remove her from the line of danger. Let these two men come together. And you people on social media who are supporting them, may God forgive you. And then let me tell you, Naomiya, may God forgive you. These are people you should be praying for, not saying you're doing the right thing. And yes, young girl, you said you know you're going to hell. Proverbs says you have been ensnared by the words of your own mouth. Do this, deliver yourself. I want you to speak well of yourself. I want you to listen to this statement. If you meet God when you're alive, you meet the Savior. You meet him when you're dead, you meet the judge. Now you're alive. Call unto him. Tell Father, help me. Because I sense you people are fighting something bigger than you. But then again, if this is cloud chasing, then there's also a problem. 